Now the memory load module hasn't changed much, but anybody who's ever done any editing for uh, Arma or Arma 2 knows that memory is very important. It defines the axes uh, of movement parts, uh, it defines some special points, and it's critical to have one. No matter what you're making, you probably have memory loss over there. And the memory load module, as I said, didn't change much. Um, uh, let's create some some points. Uh, let's see. Let's create the axis for the movement of the turret. Okay. I'm gonna cheat a little, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna create a circle. This is my. cheat to find a center line of this of the turret. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to turn on the snap toggle and select it at pivot. So let's turn it on. Pre press at point and I'm going to click onto the circle and create a point there. Okay. Now it's been created. You can't see it. Well and it's simple because that load is being turned off. So, um, you see your memory, that's the memory point. Uh, I can now delete this, turn off the snap, show points, okay, and unfreeze them. Mem point zero one. That's the first point we created, and it should be about in the center of the rotation of this turret. I'm going to duplicate it just simply by shift dragging. Mem point two. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Just drag it vertically down. Uh, since the rotation is around this axis, it doesn't matter where they are vertically. Or I'm just going to put it here for consistency's sake. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do now is define an axis. And it's done by pressing this button, and this pop-up comes uh, into view. And what it lets you do is, it lets you uh, assign these points to a certain object. And um, it's useful in a few ways. First of all, it will take the points and will give them appropriate names, as you can see, as you'll see in a second and it will also move the pivot in max of the object to the to the axis of these that are defined by these two points so that you can preview your animations in max uh, that doesn't really do anything for O2 but you will see them rotating around axis that they would be rotating in game later on so what I'm going to do is going to select point 1 not worried about selecting anything I shouldn't be because I cannot select objects whatever I can only select points and I'm going to select the turret okay now click refresh first thing you see is that these points have been renamed turret axis uh, so I just take the, take the, took the name of the object and uh, added uh, a suffix it's very really handy for recognition if I double click on any of the names in the list here, I will select both points. Okay, and we can see that uh, the pivot, which is this XYZ uh, uh, gizmo, has been moved exactly to the middle of these points on the line. So, rotation is exactly through the middle. I'm going to do the same thing for the gun. And yeah, I could do the circle trick again, but I'm just gonna go wild and experiment approximately like this. If not, I'll move it back later. So I'm gonna take that again, duplicate it, then point two. So both points are here. And same trick as before. Light. 
Okay, gun access has been created. Now you can see that the pivot again moved to these points. So if I would try to rotate it, whoa, it goes in the right axis. Well, not exactly right, but okay. It will do. <coughs> uh, make sure that if you are uh, working with any weird rotations, these are, you know, aligned to the world Z axis and around, uh, aligned to the world Y axis or whatever. Uh, if you're working with any other weird directions, then you select uh, local rotation in the coordinate system. That will make sure everything is working correctly and displaying correctly as well. So, you can check these in my memory points. Uh, if you want, you can. If you like to uh, view some geometry while you're working with memory points, I would suggest. doing this trick and then you can really not select any geometry while you're working with them. Okay. And that's it. And that's how the memory points have been created. Easy to access. Let's create just one more uh, over here for the light. So there's a bit more than just uh, access. on here. Okay, I can go back and use the name selection set to this. Oh, not sequence, just normal. Okay, so memory lot has been selected, have been created. Mm -hmm.